Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Andrew. Uh, we're going to be discussing the EG4 3000 today. I've discussed it a lot and there's been a lot of changes. Uh, one of which is mine charges now while um, it's, if you have, you have a setting, okay, to where you can do only solar or uh, charge whenever the batteries get to a certain percentage, okay, so it, and various others. But at any rate, I made a comment before that mine was not charging, um, uh, unless you put on standby mode. Uh, that has now been fixed, it took a reset, and all works. Uh, so therefore, everything um, works that was advertised or in the manual. Um, it's still doing the whole house, uh, except for a room, uh, which doesn't pull much anyway. Um, any uh, thing that has popped up has been uh, pretty much uh, where uh, MC4 connector uh, was Martin II. Uh, it's basically uh, cheaper quality and it's one of them that uh, a little bit of everybody recommends because it's a good affiliate link. I'm not going to recommend it because uh, some of you may know what it is, but uh, not going to downside it either. But uh, see, we've had that and just various other little things that didn't amount to much. A switch and the transfer switch had to replace, um, but that was from the very beginning. Um, so, year and a half later, no problems. Uh, I already have paid off probably a third of the system or better um, I I really don't know uh, the service charge alone on getting electricity here is around 44 to 48 dollars um, that's where the yard light uh, I'm out in the country so you know everybody's got their own th thing uh, eight cents per kilowatt uh, works out for me I do not have a hybrid. I wish I did because a lot of the times, uh, like right now, it's just one o'clock in the afternoon and my batteries are charged. Everything's good to go. And so we got another three, four hours of light uh, on my array that I'm not feeding back to the uh, electric company. So I could be making a little bit of money. Uh, just really don't know how much. Um, the systems worked out great that I've had and uh, no problems um, as for uh, what it is uh, you can turn the microwave on like a thousand watt microwave and the fridge will kick on and uh, something else and uh, if the missus is uh, mopping with a steam mop it's going to overload 3000 so uh, it is more on the small side, and yes, it's just 110 in this house. Uh, you could have 240 hooked up to it, but uh, I've got three EG4 V2 LL, EG4 LL V2 batteries, and uh, they're all hooked in parallel and uh, going to a transfer switch and distributing throughout the household on the breakers I selected. So I just have to flip a switch and it can be utility or it can be solar. So very cloudy days, uh, winter, especially that January area. Um, Got to flip a lot of those up or down uh, or it goes to utility. But that's about it. Um, like I said, uh, general maintenance around the solar panels, that's a given. Uh, you got to weed eat. Uh, the way I as close to the ground as mine are um, that's really about it because I've got a lumen frame and 80 mile an hour winds have come through here no problem um, nothing has moved the bright mount setup about any of those aluminum setups bolt together they're gonna be good as long as you anchor them good um, make sure everything is grounded appropriately. Um, that's a big one. Uh, I didn't have to learn my lesson on that yet. Uh, there's a few other things like uh, making sure that uh, your batteries, if you have more than one battery, that uh, 
the ground wire is on the last battery, not the first battery along with the positive. Uh, simple things like that whenever you're tying them together. Uh, just make sure you've got all your ducks in a row before you do it. But there is literally no excuse not to put solar in your house. This was a super simple setup. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, go to my uh, videos, look back ways, and uh, there's a complete how to do it. Um, you can look on thousands of other websites and uh, videos and see how it's done. But an off-grid system with a transfer switch, uh, not only do you have electricity you know, during the day or night, whatever you choose, but when there's a power outage, you don't even know the power's out until you go to use something that's on the utility. Uh, that's happened to me a whole bunch. I, I literally don't know when the power goes out most of the time. Hey, y'all have a wonderful day. I got all of my stuff from Signature Solar, so uh, you might want to look those guys up. They are uh, doing some more made in the USA, and uh, it, it, all their stuff seems to be working out real well for me. Um, they have a little bit better, or a lot better quality than uh, you're going to find on Amazon or most of the other websites out there because they're just affiliate websites, but uh, not downing them. It's just the same repetitive thing over and over, and everybody's going to tell one or the other. But, hey, if you've got any questions, put it down in the comments. Outdoor would be great if you have uh, the ability to put it outside. Or if you get a hybrid system, then are going, they are going to be waterproof. So there's no reason not to put it outside other than the batteries, which wherever you're going to put those, you're going to have to run big wiring to the hybrid inverter. So... They may have to be outside or build a little shed, something like that. But if you got any questions, solar, let me know. Enjoy.